some fun stuff while we're starting. Let's do some ums. Let's get in alignment today. So I usually hold my hands like this or just hold them open like this. So if y'all want to do that, that's fine. And yes, ums work. So just try it out. Uh, make sure, let me know if you guys can hear me whenever y'all are on. Um, let's do it. Um, um, oh, hey, can y'all all hear me good? I, uh, I wanted to start with that just to, um, so I feel hot all of a sudden now. Uh, just to start off with something. And I'm gonna try and grab this video. You might hear a little feedback really quick. Um, Joseph is in the building, liking it up. You guys might hear a little feedback right? really quick. Oh, boom, got it. All right, cool, so now I can see all your comments and stuff. All right, awesome. We're on a good pace right now, guys. Ooh, comments. And we'll pull this down. What's up, everybody? I'm in the building. And I don't know if this conversation is for all of y'all. But, uh... For those who want to stay and listen, you're more than welcome to listen in. For those who want to interact and have an active conversation, you're more than welcome to be here. You know what? Them ums was feeling so good. We're going to do them again. We're going to warm this up, baby. All right, y'all ready? One more time. Let's do it together. <laughs> um... Now the reason why I keep my mouth closed when I do that is to put me in a space that is very calm and in alignment with what I'm doing. And since we are speaking on an esoteric, occultist uh, type of topic, um, I did want to make sure I was in alignment before I did that. All right, so let's get started. I uh, now. There were a couple books I've been reading lately. I, I know I posted up, I was reading The Alchemist. Um, I have some books coming in on symbols in order to, um, cause all the symbols and gods in mythologies and planets and astrology, everything's really connected. And you have to understand that first and foremost, that everything is connected. So with that being said, uh, you wanna get to a space where you start to read between the lines or it's almost like looking it's like looking at the structure if you were watching a play it's like seeing behind the curtain and seeing how actually the stage hands move how the structures are set up and that would be like the best way for me to describe what it is uh, to peer into your own um, subconscious mind now the bible uh, many mythologies and a lot of these things are based on allegories. Allegories are stories that are told in uh, symbols and they usually have uh, deeper meanings. So a story could go as far as three or four levels deep. It may start with just basic human moralism, you know, please, thank you, that kind of thing. And then it can go as deep as to really understanding your subconscious mind and understanding um, who and what you are and coming into like a deeper meaning with those things. So there's a couple things that I've been contemplating lately and that made me realize that we are actually greater than the gods. And um, none of this is based on ego. I just wanna put that out there because I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're not greater than God. Oh, you're not this, you're not that, whatever. 
Uh, the truth is, is that they don't believe that they're greater than God. And because they have these chains on them, they want to put chains on you as well. Um, I'm big on like live and let live. Let people believe what they want to believe. And you live your life and you live by example. So that's what I subscribe to and that's what I do typically. Um, so my thought lately was uh, when you start to really study um, a lot of esoteric topics and when you start to really get into the knowledge and when you start to decode even movies because movies have a lot of really good symbolisms all different kinds of movies you start to see this emerging theme now I will use the book The Alchemist as an example if I was I you know I lend it out and I wanted to have it with me so I could actually um, reference it hey Poppy what's up <laughs> I wanted to um, have it with me so I can reference it but I don't have it right now but you know I got the gist of what was going on and if you guys want I can look online and get the page numbers or whatever to turn to so that you can sort of read what I read and understand the concepts the way that I understand it and then also come up with your own meanings behind these things because everything is uh, subjective and when you start to think in the mind state of wholeness you're gonna start to get to a place where you start to sort of fit the puzzle pieces together and you start to realize how everything is connected so with the alchemist it's a journey of a shepherd a uh, very humble and he's learning the language without words and he's looking for his personal legend and for him it was to see the pyramids and to get a treasure because he had a dream or whatever the whole book is about really like reading the signs, reading the omens and following your intuition. Um, how many times, and just starting off, how many times in your life did you look and you're like, damn, I knew I shouldn't have fucking done that. You're like, God, this is bullshit. And you'd be just so mad at yourself when you had it inside you all along and you already knew what path you wanted to take, but instead you chose a different way. So that's one thing. And, um, that you really learn to read the signs and symbols around you and these signs and symbols are up for interpretation you have to understand that everything that is existing in creation came out of the mind of a man or a human and since everything in creation came out of the mind of a human when you study the nature of the things around you it gives meaning to these things and then this is how they become symbols so and the subconscious mind speaks in symbols so you start to give things names, you start to acknowledge your nature, and you start to really um, break down this reality around you, and in doing so, you're actually also going to be breaking down your own mind. Now, when you have dreams about certain things, you're going to recognize certain symbols and what they mean to you and what context they mean to you um, in your life. Um, anybody who knows about Brother Panic, a lot of his videos are really, really good for this kind of information and dealing with the subconscious mind. And if you really feel like that's something that would work for you, I would definitely recommend go going ahead and viewing a couple of his videos on the subconscious mind and on programming and on, on, on mental programming and stuff like that. Um, you can read books on, what is it, NLP? And that'll really be um, helpful as well. So he's this kid, he's going through this legend, he's doing his personal journey. He's reading the signs and in along the way, a lot of good and bad things are happening to him. So along this way, hey, what's up, Keith? What's up, Michael? Along this way, a lot of good and bad things are happening to him. And he starts to figure out what it is, what it is to read omens, to have visions and to really trust himself. And he starts to penetrate what he calls the soul of the world. And so it was a building up. And it's very funny because in this book, he meets this Englishman and the Englishman um, who represents the Western man um, was believed that he was too simple to understand um, complex ideas, but it was actually the opposite way around. And it's funny how it's like that. Sometimes the person who is the most simple will have a better understanding of complex ideas because anything that is quote unquote complex it, it comes down to it's oh it always comes down to like a there's always a root 
And when you go out too far and you try to make things too complex, you miss out on the root meaning of things. So that's one thing that that'll help you too um, in your own life. I know that's helped me a lot. It's just I'm a holistic sort of person, so I want to know, I want to know how everything is connected, and and I, I, I tend to bring everything down to the um, com most common denominator, and this is a, a healthier way of thinking. All right, so he goes through this personal journey. And then you have the contrast with the Englishman. And then the end of the book, and I'm sorry if you guys haven't seen it, this is a spoiler. Um, the end of the book, he comes to a space where he has to literally turn himself into the wind. And it wasn't the act of turning himself into the wind that was profound. The, it was profound when he found out that the power to do that was inside of himself all along. And see, this has a very deep meaning because he spoke to the sun, he speaks to the wind, he speaks to the earth. He goes, he penetrates through the soul of the earth. And the only thing that, that was left there for him to find was himself. In many cultures, um, this world is considered an illusion. Um, they call it Maya. Um, Brahman is having a dream and we're all, um, he's basically just dreaming all of this and one day he'll wake up and it won't be here anymore. So, and in many cultures, this is known as the world of illusions. So when you come into a space where this is known as the world of illusions, um, you, you start to realize that if this is all a dream, maybe I'm the dreamer. And maybe I'm, an, or an aspect of the dreamer, and I'm the one really making the decisions here. I just was giving my power away because I didn't realize it. Because if nothing is real, then it shouldn't be that complicated to manipulate it. Um, and as you start to learn the technology of your body, as you start to penetrate your own heart, as you start to speak a, the language without words, um, you will come to a deeper understanding that is very hard to put into words, believe it or not, in this dimension. It's just an understanding and it's, it's a knowledge of self that you have to grow and gain over time. It's not something that's gonna come uh, natural to a lot of people and it's not something that comes easy. So you go ahead and you penetrate your own soul. You penetrate the deepest death, depths, <laughs> depths, Find the death in the depths. <laughs> you penetrate the depths of yourself. And in that, then you come to a space where you start to realize how much control you actually do have over the things that are happening to you. Um, now, the meat and potatoes of this topic, and I am kind of shooting from the hip. I really did want to prepare something more put together, but... I have a pretty good concept of what I want to say, so we're just we're just doing it. Um, now, in consciousness recently, there are a lot of people talking about the gods. We say, "I am a god," "I am a goddess." Um, my page, I say, "I am god and goddess." If y'all been to my Instagram, and that's a very peculiar, peculiar, peculiar. There we go. I got it right. That that word always trips me up thing to say and the reason that is is because <clears throat> gods were created as descriptions of energy so that would mean that the concept of a god or a goddess comes from the mind of a human so is it really the gods that are in control or is it you get where I'm going here um, so I started contemplating this and over weeks I really contemplated this a lot I played with it a lot in my mind because I really wanted to get down to it and I really wanted to understand it now in a lot of cultures I'm gonna be preparing um, like a little lecture I guess I'll do it on live stream it's no biggie on the great mother um, the void chaos but it's gonna be really specifically on the great mother um, now the void, chaos, monsters, 
darkness, triple black, all these things that are connected with the soul are things that we think are so far away from us, but in actuality, it is you. And how amazing is that? That something that you were afraid of <laughs> was you this whole time. So really the only thing you were fearing was yourself this whole time because the darkness that is within you is pure potential. It's all encompassing. It's everything that ever was, everything that is, and everything that ever could be. It's every single paradigm and possibility. It's the uncreate. And that's why a lot of cultures would call this the void or would call this chaos or would use monsters to, in order to describe this thing. This is what is greater than the gods. This is why the gods are jealous of you. Or this is why the angels, because there are certain people who say the angels are actually jealous of you. And they're jealous of you because you are all. You literally are all. In your soul is the possibility of everything. You need nothing more than exactly who you are and exactly where you are right now in order to tap in. This is um, a beautiful concept that I contemplated a lot. And it's amazing to me because I'm not the only one. Everybody, um, or almost everybody I'll say, has access to this. All they really need to do is go inside of themselves in order to gain that access. So that's something that I found very um, fascinating. And also, also there are a lot of movies um, if you go into Greek mythology and you start to learn about the Titans and stuff like that, you start to wonder who are the Titans. And if you ever noticed in movies, the bad guy always says the wisest things. So I started really contemplating from movies, from watching, um, listening to lectures, uh, reading books, uh, just going over and over this concept in my mind, I came to the conclusion that we have to be greater than the gods and they're here to serve us really because we're their mothers and we're their father you know what i mean you're you're the all so you are you are the one that created it so this is essentially your child so there's no need to think that anything outside of yourself is greater than you 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 are the greatest thing in existence and the reason for that is, is because your soul is infinite. If only you would let go of your ego and you would start to do your, your emotional work and you would start to tap in and you would penetrate your heart and learn to become more complete, then you would really see the gift that comes with penetrating your soul, with finding that, with finding that soul, with gaining enlightenment, with gaining light. I mean, this is, for my work, honestly, for the things that I'm interested in and what I love, this is it for me. And I'll keep doing the work. I'll keep going deeper and deeper, keep meditating, and keep getting this out there. And uh, whatever you guys want to talk about, definitely put it in the comments, send me a message, and I will be more than happy to chat with you. Uh, I know this was kind of a short live stream, but it's all good. Um, I'm also, I got it set up. I have to put, um, more stuff up, but my Patreon page, it's going to have three tiers. I'm going to have like daily inspirations or weekly inspirations. Um, I'll have some articles on there, some videos or whatever. And if you become a Patreon, you get access to certain tiers. Um, so I have it set up, but I have to put the content. So give me like two weeks and I'll have some solid content on there for you guys. Alrighty. Well, I love you, lovers, for all of you. Uh, let's read some comments, and then I'm going to get out of here. All right. Keenan said, we are energy, kinetic, and potential, as well as genetic energy. Mathematics shows and proves this. He's right. So, so wise. Wise is so wise. Um, Craig says, oh, Kyrie's here. 
Hafa Kamez, whatever his name is. What's up to you, homie? Um, Craig, what's up to you, homie? Alvarez said, hey, love. Hey. Aw, thank you, Joseph. That's very sweet of you. All right, you guys ain't really saying too much, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get up out of here. Um, but, yeah, if you guys want to talk about anything in particular, um, if you want to know what I'm doing this, because I'm going to do a lecture on the Great Mother. We're going to really explore, like, chaos energy. We're going to really go deep. So if you want to know the exact date and time I'm going to be doing that, just inbox me, and I will post it up. I will, well, I'll post it up eventually, but inbox me and I'll, I'll probably put your name to the, I'll write your name down or something. That way I could like know to let you know exactly when I'm doing that. If you want to really get into this information. All right. Love you guys. Bye.